next i need to work on the image upload so when i choose any image i first need to get the preview here and then when i click on the add i need to add the image along with the comment how we can do that thing with level live wire let's check out so i have created a simple section where i have this input because in live wire form doesn't matter <laughs> fully form doesn't matter that's why i have put this input box above the form because it's uh, not required then what we need next we need to choose any file when we choose a file we need to send that file to the laravel end let's try in a conventional way so it would be nice if i have wire model of image let's try this so we need to create a simple variable called image so public image or you can just directly create image here but i like to have like this okay so when we have this click and choose an image uh, nothing happens but let's try once more refresh the page and choose an image and yeah you can see we have this actual request which is sending the data let's see what data we are sending we are sending image as null hmm this is weird but what we are getting on the image actually so to check that i can just echo out image at the top here we have so initially image doesn't have anything so nothing is showing here as soon as i choose it you can see we are having some fake path welcome minion dot gif so here this fake path is actually for the browser browser security is having this fake path and laravel cannot interact with the browser and that's why we have the laravel live wire but even laravel live wire cannot determine where is the image to send its information or how we can grab this so instead what i am going to do i am going to hack it in a simple way whenever i change something that means whenever i choose any file there should be a change event of this file input this file input has some change event so now i can say wire change whenever there is a change then i should uh, have this image okay let's try this so instead of wire i have change and whenever there is a change now it says unable to call component method so it's feeling like there is a function of image so this means we can create some function inside this image but i'm going to introduce you with the events of this laravel live wire because we can emit some event once again if you are familiar with uh, vue.js it's exactly the same we are emitting the event we can emit the event with the wire things then we can emit the event from the component or we can emit event from this script similar to emitting we can also listen the event so at the bottom you can see we have wire listen level live wire listen and we can listen to this also okay let's try this so i'm removing this image here and when i change it i need to emit an event to emit an event i can simply say dollar emit and i can say the emit name is file chosen so i have chosen the file so let's refresh and click select the image and you can see nothing is happening because we are not listening about this event so livewire is smart enough that if there is no one listening about this event it's not going to do anything but we need to listen event on our window event so let's copy this uh, script and you can put this script inside your welcome.blade here but i'm going to have this on my comment.blade so anywhere you can have this and i can simply say alert and that will one is file chosen remember this is the event we are emitting from here here is the file chosen event yeah we have this let's go here once again refresh this page open the console but now it says cannot read the property on of undefined 
let's do one thing let's log window and let's try this but inside this window you can see we have the live wire so why it's giving this because if I go on the welcome dot blade you can see we are having this script after the comment loads so one is you can move this into the head then it's going to work and like here refresh the page and now we are not having any error so that should work so you can do this or if you want to stick with this kind of notation loading this script at the last then you need to have some set timeout so that after one second you can check for the event but let's move it here or the final thing you can do also you can have this script here like this but i like to have the script related to the component inside the component so in that case i am going to move this script in the head so it doesn't matter actually now we have this so whenever this uh, input field is emitting the event called file chosen then we are listening here window live wire on file chosen there is no post id and then we are simply alerting okay let's try this choose a file this one and yeah we have this alert cool we are getting that now this is very nice thing okay so let's grab the file and we can grab the file by document dot get element by id and remember i have given this input field an id field of image so let's grab this tag by id of image that we have done so now let's log console log of file and once again choose the image that image and that tag is here this image input tag is there so because we have this tag we can simply find the file so every file if we have then we can say files and grab the first one so once again choose the file and i'm showing you step by step so we have this file okay next what we need to do we can simply say like file is file dot or I can say let file and this should be input field like this and input field dot files grabbing the first file because we are just uh, uh, choosing one file only not the multiple file upload and then we need to create a reader a file reader so new file reader and then we can say reader dot on load end when the loading is ended then we need to simply do something so log uh, reader dot result and this is only going to happen when we run reader read as data url of this file okay so lots of thing but file is there then we have created reader and we are reading this uh, reader as a data url and then we are saying when the loading is ended then we can log out the result okay so this is pure javascript and yeah you can see lots of uh, base 64 image we have here okay so we can simply send this how we can send remember we can also emit the event from our window so window object can emit the event also so once again we can inside this emitting file upload and the data inside this should be the result and this is an event so we can listen for the event inside our component and we need to write protected listeners and then here is the event name which is file upload and then which function is going to handle this event okay so let's copy this from there and go let's call listeners and listener is file uploaded is it uploaded only upload and then we have to give handle file upload this should be a function inside the same component 
and this should get the image and for now I can say die dump of image let's once more refresh choose a file like this and you can see now we have this which is having with the driver of GD library because it's having some intervention okay so instead of image I can say image data and image data now let's try once more so we have this and this time you can see with some waiting we are getting this base 64 and this we can use now we have this image and we can set the image so this image is equal to image data that we have done here reload the page and now I'm not having any diadem if I choose this one and nothing is happening no error that means we are good to go let's go here and on just above this image uh, the input field I'm going to create an image tag with the source of image and remember this image is actually this variable image because it is publicly available and that's done with a width of let's say 200 and now once again finally yeah it says the image is not available we will tackle that but now if I choose that file after some time we have a hello for the minion <laughs> cool we have done finally file upload but it's not actually stored in laravel this is a laravel step we will do this later but let's do one more thing we can say if we have uh, we have the image then only we are going to show this image otherwise not now let's try once more and here we have choose it and after some time we have this next we will work on the uploading of this image on the back end that means on the level end and that will be easy because I have installed intervention package and that intervention package will help us to store this into the storage